We'll be learning about the Lewis and Clark expedition, the Oregon Trail, the fur trappers, the settlers in this area, as well as the modern day history of dams and locks. Wonderful scenery and tremendous experiences. Welcome aboard. It's important to take some time and learn about the past so we can better understand uh, where we are now. Here at Fort Clatsop, the Corps of Discovery arrived on this spot on December 7th, 1805. We've been following Lewis and Clark intently, almost feeling their hardships, almost feeling their joys. I get a feeling of their path and what they did. What they did and how arduous and how tough a journey they had. It's really awesome being in the lock. <laughs> we are watching the water go up the wall as we are right on the water level. One of the best parts of our Columbia and Snake River itinerary is the opportunity to taste the fruits of this incredibly productive region. It is a world-class uh, art museum. We've been walking on the very scenic historic Columbia River Highway, cleaned out and scoured by giant ice age floods rushing through here hundreds of feet deep and going 60 miles an hour or more. This beautiful and modern museum gives us a great insight into the natural and cultural history of this area. We understand that history matters. I've been particularly struck by the, uh, the diversity of the geography. Um, I did not expect to be in a rainforest one day and an arid desert the next. Palouse Falls plunges 190 feet down over the cliffs that are formed here by the great ice age floods. This is one of the few places we've seen a waterfall that I'd love to dive into. I mean, it's just, we're coming back. That's the big news. I think we leave this trip having understood a lot about Lewis and Clark Expedition and about the other people and places along the Snake and Columbia Rivers. You name it, it's here. It's wonderful. <laughs>